Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this video I want to show you guys how you can start editing a vertical or a portrait orientation video inside of DaVinci Resolve 17. So the first thing that I'm going to do is to bring in this vertical orientation video clip into Resolve. So I'll just drag and drop this into the media pool. Now by default, the settings in Resolve are going to have you editing inside of a landscape orientation. So if I drag this clip onto the timeline just like this, then you're going to see a lot of black space around the edges for your timeline. So what we need to do in order to change this timeline resolution is relatively straightforward. Let's go up to the file menu and go down to project settings. And then in master settings, there's the option here for timeline resolution. So we're going to need to change this value, but before we do that, we should know what the resolution of the video we want to edit is. So I'm going to left click on our video clip inside of the media pool and have metadata open on the top right. So here you can see the resolution of your video file. So in order for it to appear correctly in the timeline, we're going to want some multiple of this settings. So I can go up to file project settings once again, and we're going to change this standard landscape resolution to a custom resolution. So now we're going to need some multiple of this resolution over here for it to look correctly. Unfortunately, we can't put 4096 into the vertical resolution for the free version of DaVinci Resolve. I believe if you have the pro version, it can go higher. So if you're working with high resolution video files and you can't just put in the resolution straight as is, then what you can just do is open up a calculator and then find a way to reduce this value without causing decimal points. So for instance, if I divide by two, we get 1080 for the horizontal resolution, and I can type that in for the custom resolution here. And then in the vertical resolution over here, we can do 4096 and divide that by two. So I'm going to put in 2048 for the vertical resolution. Okay, so now we have dimensions we can work with. And note that this is still pretty high resolution. It's pretty close to 1080p resolution if you were streaming a YouTube video. So anyway, let's go ahead and hit save. And what you'll notice after we refresh the timeline is that the video should now perfectly fit the timeline frame. So now you can just edit your video as normal. And when you go to the deliver tab, you're gonna to need to be careful when you are choosing your export file size settings. So when you change the timeline resolution in the project settings, in the custom render settings, which is your default option, you'll see those same timeline resolutions appear here. So assuming you want the exported file to reflect the timeline, you should definitely leave these alone. And if you try to switch to one of the other defaults like YouTube 1080p, then you'll see that the resolution here gets put back to the landscape value. So if you still want to upload to YouTube directly, you're going to need to go to the resolution here and put custom and then type in those values again. So I believe that was 1080 and then 2048. You can always go to file project settings to verify that as well. So now when you add your file to the render queue, save as normal and export it, you should get the video to output in this format. So one last thing for this video, if you're going to frequently edit vertical videos, you might want to set a preset so that whenever you start a new project, you can just load up the settings and have the timeline resolution at the correct resolution. So to do that, we go up to file project settings and then with these master settings already set up. So we did that for this video, 1080 and then 2048 for the vertical resolution. We can just take these settings, the current timeline frame rate and playback frame rate. And then we go to presets and we do save as here. And we could say vertical preset, save that. Anytime we wanna use those settings, we can just go in here and click load. Or if we want it to have that as the default for any new projects we start in DaVinci Resolve, we can just right click vertical preset and then do save as user default config. And when you start your new project, it should use these settings of the width and height. So that's pretty much everything you need to know about setting up DaVinci Resolve so that you can edit a vertical video with a portrait sized resolution. So I've been Chris, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my future video content.